we're coming back to this array theme. The task is to fix this round dining table with an array of dining chairs. Let's look at the plan. As you can see, we have the chairs parametric already. Same thing with the radius of the dining table. So if you make a change on the number of chairs at four, it's okay, works. But then if we change the diameter of the dining table to two feet, the chairs don't follow. Tying the chair to the table radius is the solution. And this was their attempt on doing it. And that looks good, but then when we attempt to change the radius, you have this remove constraints and it doesn't follow. The only thing that followed was that one. This probably won't work, even if we attempt to dimension this here. The others won't follow at all. So let's backtrack and do this right. Edit the chair. And what we're going to do is create another family. Load this into that family. Create a reference plane. We'll give it a two foot dimension. Change, give it a parameter. Which of the table radius. Now, we're going to lock this here and we're going to copy this about three inches from from where it is make it two inches okay and lock it there to align align that and lock we could tie this to another parameter set in under the table and now we could load this into the family. But first we change it to a furniture family and load it. Dining table. Lock. Oops. Do an array. Circular. Place the center. Center of the table, 360 degrees, enter, and change it to 4. And then we pick this dimension and tie it into the number of chairs. So now we could change the diameter to say 30 inches, which would make a 5 foot diameter table, and change the number of chairs to 4, maybe 8. And apply but it still won't move because we still haven't tied those dimensions we did earlier to the parameters of this family.
So let's double click on that and table radius, table top radius. And then we could create a new parameter set under table if you wanted to. Okay. So now those chairs are going to follow the table radius. If we do a two foot radius, it follows. And then we could also change the number of chairs if we wanted to. Let's say we wanted a, uh, let's go wild and do a six foot diameter table. Put it at 10 chairs. We move. Let's say you wanted to move these guys in. You could change that set in them from two inches to a four inches. And you could move those. Anytime you make a change on that, you want to go back to two foot six. It should be a five foot diameter, goes in, and then you could change the inset to two inches again. There's too many chairs for that, so maybe take out one. That works.